Welcome to this tutorial about X1s. Why they are bad and how to prevent them. So I have prepared this screenshot here. So as you can see here the check audio server is started. This is the check audio server window and the messages window is open. And here on the messages you can see the timestamps and that there are many errors here. And here the message says X1 callback. And if you read this line here, it says X1 client choose check was not finished. So uh, X1 basically occurs if an audio plugin or a audio software is not yet finished with processing the audio, but there is already new audio coming in. So what the check server is doing then is to skip the audio and go back to normal. But as you can see here, the X1 is coming back again and again and again. So there's a lot of audio being skipped. And if audio is being skipped, there's a clipping noise in the audio you're producing. To show you these uh, clipping noises, I've prepared something. So here I'm running a little bit of music. And you should hear the clicking. And there are a lot of X1s here, because I'm loading a lot of plugins in the background. You can see the latency is really deep down and these are the settings for it. So as you can hear these X1s are really bad and you should prevent them from happening. So if not done yet please watch my other video about how to prepare Linux for audio production. Please make sure you have done these steps before trying the next steps. So I'm here now with the currently running check server. So as you can see here, I'm not having any X1s. There are basically two different reasons for it. The first thing you should check is the DSP load here. So there's this percentage number, which shows how much the DSP really is doing now. So for what I'm now currently doing, it's about 1.5, 1.6. If you're loading many plugins, this number increases. So if it's really too high, you could use other plugins or other software or try it with less plugins. Another reason for the DSP load to get high is if you're using an internal sound card and this internal sound card is too weak to handle all the processing. So you really should use a external USB interface which is much more capable of doing all the processing. So the next thing you should check is the setup. So the driver should be on Alza and this checkbox for real time should be checked. So on interface you should select the right interface. For me it's this USB interface. I've set the sample rate to 44,100. The frames per period I've set to 512 and the periods per buffer to 4. So these two settings here set the latency here. So if you're setting lower numbers here, let's say 64, you're getting really low latencies. So if you increase these numbers, the latency is increasing too. So if you're getting X1s, you should choose the next higher number, for example 256, then click OK and test it. If you still get an X once, then increase the number again and so on. Till you have no X ones at all. So thanks for watching this tutorial about X ones. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel. I see you in the next one. Bye.